this way. We're gonna go this way. Hello, hello, for an owl. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? Yeah, the wire runs quite a ways north. Just follow it up to the point that I mentioned. Oh, I'm supposed to follow this. Makes sense. Follow the wires, boy! I don't remember the point she mentioned though, because I wasn't listening. Because I was doing an amazing and very accurate Australian accent. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. She is a smart ass, but I fucking love her for it. She's an independent, sassy woman. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I'd date her. I'd say, hey, Delilah, lass, would you like to go and date with me? I want to take you to dinner. I want to show you the ropes. I want you to come to the movies with me. Let's go. We'll make out in the big row. It'll be amazing. Woo, 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 woo. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Same. Same, same. Same, same, but different, but same. You don't feel offended, Hydro. You feel flattered. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts Damn. while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm. I don't know. Um... Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. I. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Thank you for the one dollar tip, dude. I really appreciate it. No, I don't want to drop down there this way. Follow the beer cans. The beer cans. Beer cans. Beer cans. Oh. Beer can. Beer can. I keep holding a shift like this and it help me sprint, but it doesn't. Back in. Uh, that was not helpful. This is a dead end, right? That is the way back to where I came from. It's a red herring, boys and girls. They threw me off the path, but I will find where they lift the beacons. Okay, but seriously, what the fuck? I don't understand. What is that? Green. Shit. Is 
No. WTF, mate? I don't understand. Where the fuck did you go, bitch? These two teenage girls. <laughs> I'm stuff making us sound terrible. No, I'm not. Don't get so offended. You guys are so sensitive. I'm praising your beautiful accents, guys. I don't know. I followed the beer cans. What the fuck? where I started. Why, Mom? So had I not gone that way. Ah. We gotta be somewhere this way, right? Freezing, sure, true. I'm gonna say, let's check it out. <laughs> you guys, my accent is fucking beautiful. I don't know why you guys are picking on me for it. You know, I've worked really hard to establish this accent, so y'all should be super supportive. Just saying. How do I? Really? Like I. This way you shall not pass. Steph, you want to be Ozzy do goon bag again? <laughs> no, that was a terrible fucking idea, Rough Tug. We do not need to do a goon bag again. Although I do have wine. We could bust out some wine. No, Steph, kill it. Yeah, I'm killing it. Killing it! I guess I can't go that way. We'll go this way. Oh, oh. I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. So the lake? What? We're going through the forest. It's extremely exciting. We're going to see uh, the sights and the sounds. Uh, we have to walk across this extremely treacherous log. I found a big peak. There's an abandoned pack out here. A big peak. One of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. A big peak. A big peak, boys. I got a camera in the big peak and some rope. Well, I am flush with ropes now. Nice. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. Nice. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Yeah, <laughs> Neato, Wait, gang. Who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Mmm, yeah. It was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Oh. Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Damn, it feels good to be a princess. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? I see a really thin plume of smoke. 
Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Can I really not? I just can't jump down here. Please, are you? Mm, 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 mm. I don't understand. Uh, really, it's aggressive. It's aggressive. I don't. Why can't I go down that way? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where do I go? Can I go up? Like, is this for real? I can't move forward from this point? It's very disconcerting. I don't understand. Mom! What was I looking at? Can I really not get down here? Wait, I'm. This is a serious question. Go down, then to the left. I went to the left. I went to the left. Look at left. Left. Oh, another rope hook. Damn it. I am blind as a fucking bat. Like, he needed to repel that, though. He jumps from higher rocks. Consistently, I don't think he needs a rope for this little tiny climb. I feel like the girls are gonna figure out the fucking password and then start shitting in the boxes. You know what I mean? Straight up just pooping in the boxes. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man Ron. I went to I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for uh LOs. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in the ha that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Love, Ron. Oh, I can keep the notes. Oh, oh. I don't get the flower. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Well, maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. I see it. No. Not useful at all. Right. Jonesy Lake. All right, so we're going this way. Towards the plume of smoke. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her, if you can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Fuck. That's really sad. That's so sad. This game, the feels, my heartstrings are being pulled right now. Dude. Look at that. Oh, no, I 
there's a forest fire. Only you can prevent forest fires. That's kind of sad. Not kind of, that's super sad. Goldie should fuck a burrito. I would like a cock, you know. I'm time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. A chotch. I don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey. Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! <laughs> Adorable. They're so cute together. Flap hey Flapjack! I'm gonna start using that. We're gonna tweet it right now, actually. Boom. I learned today I learned. Today I learned. I'm not cheating on anyone. Guys, we're just talking on the radio. Okay? Wow. I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no. I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Ah, oh, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh, yeah. You should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Should I go up or should I go down? Let's jump the gap. Hey, oh, why music? Silly donated two dollars. Hi. <laughs> Hi, silly. How are you? I feel like I'm going the wrong way. This music, music's gotta mean something, right? Where am I? All right, we're going this way. Up and around, up and around. The music's really good in this game. Ooh, it was already open. Have I been here before? Oh, I have. Up and around is where we're going. Silly with the $2 tip. I'm all right. Thanks for asking. Well, thank you, Silly, for the two bucks. And I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. I'm going oh, you were brave. I was drunk. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. How do I... How do I live without you? I want you to know. I don't... Okay, we're going back this way. So I think I actually do need to go down. I think up was a bad idea. Although he did say he wanted to fucking jump the gap, so... I don't know, man. Can I go this way? Is this the right way? No. Yeah, I gotta go back. Back down. My friends. Uh, how did I get up here? Uh oh. Did I fuck this up? I may have fucked this up. Back down. It was right by this box. Right here. Found it. We good. Be good, fam. Uh-oh. There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. 
See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way. Wait, but that's... Isn't that where I came up? Is this thing bullshitting me? Is this game a bullshitter? This game's a bullshitter. I need to go that way. Towards the smoke. Plumes. Whatever. Fuck the map. We're just gonna run towards the, the smoke. What direction is it? It's like west. In column of smoke. I'm hungry. I'm about to start nomming on these nutter butters again. Oh, yeah. Let's chill. The smoke is marked on the map, is it? Where's the smoke? That? Campfire? Oh. I see. Campfire smoke. I understand. Now I get it. Nutter butters, assemble in my mouth. No? Mm. Hello? There are like multiple ways about going. Multiple ways going about this. Multiple ways to go about this. Where's our tough? I feel like I should go down that rope, right? What are you going to do when the fire season wraps up? Are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. I don't know. I, I haven't really thought about it. Right now, I'm trying to hunt down some vandals, and I don't even know what I'm going to do when I find them. I'm not thinking very far ahead. You should go see her. She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better, and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, mm. you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. True, ma'am. Delilah, you know what's up, girl. What's up, dude? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Love Whistler? What? What do you mean no sense of direction? I'm exploring. I don't have to go the linear path every time, do I? Come on. Watch and chill. Although I don't remember where this, like, little rope thing was. It was right here. Rope hook. Got him. It's chill. Don't worry about it. Delilah is a Loki bitch. No, she's not. Delilah's dope as fuck, man. Get a grip. Get a grip. Delilah is dope. I really like her. I find a common ground with Delilah.
so cute. Why even put a fucking lock on these if the fucking combo is so easy? Missing person. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. Just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD day hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Sad. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Booyakasha. Sounds like we're getting close, boys. I don't see it in the sky, though. You guys see it? some cloth out here it looks like it was torn from something strange i'll keep looking around it's a really nice waterfall down here even those girls love a skinny dipping i bet they're nearby found one of their empties guess we're on the right track roger that roger that i can't go up this way right okay i think i need to go through that little hole. Sir Factional with a $4.57 tip. Oh, I can take pictures. That's right. Ah, oh, Sir Factional, man. Thank you so much. I'm glad the chat uh, were sweet and awesome to you. They have their moments. Not all the time, but they have their moments. Thanks again for joining tonight. I really appreciate the support, dude. And welcome, official welcome to the family. What was it? What was I able to take a picture of? Team campfire. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like. Why can't I take the sheets? Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. 
Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Okay. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite. Uh, and then came and destroyed our campsite and all our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Dick. Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? Henry, did you attack or do anything that could be perceived as an attack to these campers? Don't be ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. I've known you, what, 24 hours? Maybe, maybe you're nuts. God, look, I just came out here to sit in a tower, all right? Not get into some mess with a bunch of co-eds. It's fine. They're, yeah, they're gone? Yeah, they're gone. But you should see this place. It just, it's weird. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. All right, well, there you go, day three. Find boards downstairs to patch the window. Very weird how he grabs that. Has he grown since we hey, got Henry. him? Yeah, he has. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. I could be Tom Cruise's good looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? <laughs> Tuxedos, as often as <laughs> You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. They're mm, so good to know, Dale, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Well, a pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... Don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. This is kind of awkward. They're, uh, they're steely. A cold, hard stare. Mm, like a <laughs> Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. 
Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you hey. been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the front line of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Blood River, Two Orc Slayer, Magic Circle, Gladys Silva's Ancestral Home, Witch's House, Dire Bear, Tooth Point, Scorched Lands, Doom and Canyon, Iron Fortress, Lake of Acid, Lost Woods. That's funny. Hey, there's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs and the lake to the east is made of acid. Sounds erroneous. Looks like the previous resident was into fantasy. Assume it was Brian Goodwin. Kid must have really liked wizards. Why do I yeah, it looks like he was big into wizards. You don't like wizards? I love wizards. Who doesn't love wizards? Mm, wyverns. Excuse me? Winged reptiles with magical or unusual abilities. Oh my god. They soar over the land, scorching townships with their breath of flame, taking considerable care to devour their sworn enemies. The sorcerers, mages, witches, and, uh, you know. The wizards. Yeah, the wizards. Dude, this chick Holy is shit. fucking amazing. She is amazing. I would date her. I would date her. I would fucking date her. Are you kidding me? She's so tight. Toilet paper. Hmm. Yes. I just like clean up my fucking room? Like what am I supposed to do? Okay. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. <laughs> of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. <laughs> 